Hello and welcome to another in my series of bridge videos where I play through hands and uh, speak about my thought process as I go. So the video I did, I did last week I titled What Would Mike Do? So I suppose this is What Would Mike Do? Episode 2. Um, and a reminder that we're playing it's aimed at a novice level, so the bidding system is very simple. We play Akol, four card mages, weak no trump, and we don't really do much that is fancy at all. There's no stamen, transfers, nothing more complex than just basic bidding. Every now and then I might touch on some alternate bidding, um, and when it comes to evaluating my shape, I do like to talk about losing trick count because I believe that's a really good way of evaluating your hand. Uh, with the hope that novices will move to using that relatively quickly instead of using other more crude and simple options. Um, what would Mike do? Well, Mike is no world class or even national class player here in New Zealand. So of course I am, I will make errors. I won't always do the right thing, um, but for a novice, I think it's good to have a perspective that uh, is down at your level, and it wasn't that long ago I was a novice also, and so I think I can relate, um, and we'll get a chance to talk about, you know, maybe where we went wrong in a hand at the end of it, um, but of course if you think that I've done something wrong, please leave a comment, I'd be happy to have those discussions, and uh, maybe I can learn something from these videos as well. Certainly got plenty more to learn in my bridge journey. So without further ado, we will start on board one with North as dealer. We're playing 22 boards tonight. Um, these are the boards that were played on the 3rd of August, the evening of the 3rd of August at the Tauranga Bridge Club by our junior club. So there's 22 boards that they played and I hope you will all find something useful in this video. All right, so North has got three points. They're just passing. East, four, five, six, 10, 12, 13 points, flat. So one no trump, 12 to 14 balance. Now over one no trump, we're just playing everything as natural. So South with their four, eight, 10, 11 points and a lovely diamond suit is good enough for a two diamond overcall. Because we're not playing stamen or transfers when responding to one no trump, this hand, if there had been no overcall, would bid three spades to show exactly five spades and asking their partner, game forcing exactly five spades, asking their partner to pick between three no trump and four spades. So the overcall really doesn't make any difference to us here. We're still going to bid three spades and it has exactly the same meaning. North. They've got a diamond fit. They've only got three points. They'd have to bid out the four level. Nah. Now East has a lovely spade fit. Not not only do they have three spades, they've got four spades for their partner. So they can correct to four spades. And that is where we shall play. All right, seek some Robux. And then we will hide the defender's cards. There we go. So we're in a suit contract. We're in four spades. And of course, when we're in a suit contract, we count our losers. So our spades are solid. Certainly no losers there. We will lose a heart. But it should be just one. Apart from the ace, it's actually not a bad suit. Uh, we've got a club to lose. We're missing the king. And we are missing a diamond. So... One heart, one club, one diamond. So our contract's looking pretty good. We may be able to save a club loser if the club finesse is working. Um, short of the defenders making a mistake, we can't really stop our diamond loser. We can try and lead towards the king and see if uh, South has the ace and they don't put it up. We might get lucky. But to start with, we're just going to duck this, see if the ace comes out. There it is. 
So it gives us a couple of discards, but no, straight away the Ace of Diamonds. So no chance there. Another diamond which we will rough. And we can draw our trumps. Missing four. Three, two. Where do I want to be? Probably in the other hand so I can run the club finesse. I might just unblock the heart suit before I cross over there. One. And there's one more to come. Zero. So we can use these hearts. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we throw out. See how the club finesse goes. It's good. Fortunately, we can't get back to do it again. Hmm have to lose a club. What we probably should have done is used played the spades in such a way that we could have had an entry. So if we had one with the say the ten, and then we played the ace of spades first, maybe the ten and then the queen, we still got the king, we could have led back over here with the kings to run the club finesse again. Wasn't really thinking about what might have happened if it had worked. So we made four tricks, we should probably have made five. Yeah, we should have made five. All right. Reseat myself so that the robots don't bid for me. And on to board two, Easter's dealer, eight points balanced, pass. South, three, six, ten, eleven points balanced. I'm not opening that light. I don't see any reason to open one no trump light. Um, we could also look at the rule of 20. It doesn't satisfy that. Our high card points plus the length of our two longer suits. 11 plus 4 plus 4 is 19. Doesn't get to 20. So it doesn't meet that rule for opening light. Pass. 4, 16, 12. All right, this guy can open. 12, balanced, one no trump. Another one no trump opener. North. Two, three, five, six, nine points. Five card heart suit. Vulnerable. I, I would refrain from bidding. You could consider a two heart overcall. You're probably a little bit light on points, really, to be overcalling at the two level. You could consider it, but you are vulnerable. And your partner could have one heart for you, or worse. Right, so East, their partner has opened one no trump. They have eight points. Nothing much going on in the majors. But we're just going to pass one no trump. And South, with their balance 11, has nothing to say. Right, so West is playing in one no trump. Put the defenders back in their place. All right, so we're playing in a no trump contract. This time we count our certain winners. So one, two, three, four. We've got four, we've got to find three more. So the spades look promising. We've, we're missing the king, but we've got the queen jack 10. So we can, there's finessing opportunities in the spades. And if the finesse loses, we should still be able to get two more spade tricks. So, what does that take us to? Six. Uh, hearts looks not great. 
Diamond doesn't look too flesh either. The clubs, we've got pretty good length in clubs, seven cars suit, but North has led them. So it seems unlikely that they're gonna split 3-3 three, three for us. We would expect North to lead from a long suit, especially since they had the choice of all four suits from the bidding. So it's not immediately clear where we're going to find our extra trick. If the spade finesse works, we might be able to make all four spades. That seems like our best option at this stage. Uh, we probably there's probably not much point in ducking here. We've actually got quite a long club suit, so we're not too threatened by it. And they they could actually do some damage to us in diamonds if they were to switch. So I'm just going to win this with the king and then start on the spades. Rather than run the jack, I'm going to lead a small spade towards the queen. I can get back with the king if I need to do it again. And that is so that if the finesse loses, then all my other spades are good. Okay, finesse worked. This time. Doesn't mean that North isn't just holding out on us. But across to the ace of, uh, king of hearts. And another spade. Duck it. Okay. There's just two spades left now. We've run two full rounds. We've got three, there's two more. King, ace, and south is left with the nine. So we couldn't find an extra trick in spades, unfortunately. It's all looking a bit grim. We've still got our ace of hearts, that's our sixth trick, but beyond that. I'm going to give South their spade. Let them do some work for me. Even if they do set the clubs up for me, I can't get to them. I'm just going to keep ducking and hope some miracle comes in diamonds. Okay, so the clubs are actually, they did actually split 3-3. Three, three. So North lead, their initial lead was from a three card suit. So that's a little frustrating. If we had set about the, setting up the clubs, we could actually have made our extra trick there. Anyway. There's no way in the world we're getting to our clubs, so we'll throw those out. Still missing the ace and king of diamonds. They're probably going to win cheap here, but leading out the queen isn't exactly going to help our cause either. And king and ace of diamonds are going to crash together. So, one light. Couldn't find the extra trick, but we can see the club lead. Quite why they didn't lead their heart suit is beyond me. Looks like a perfectly decent lead, the Queen of Hearts. Uh, but they opted for a club lead, which threw us off the scent. We could have set the club suit up, leaving the King of Hearts as an entry, and would get where we would have made two clubs to make two no trump. Although we probably couldn't have run the spade finesse as well. Ah, oh, it didn't matter, we only ever made three spades. Even with the spade finesse working, we couldn't get all our spade tricks, so... Yeah. Fooled by the robots on that occasion. And their crazy leads. All right. And on 
two board three. South is dealer with seven points in balance. Pass. Four, seven, 19, 11, 12 points. Five, five in the black suits. We always open the highest of our two five card suits, higher ranked. On spade. Of course, because we're playing Echo, our partner doesn't yet know we have five spades. North has got eight points, long heart suit, but no strength in the suit. Neither the points nor the honours to be overcalling at the two level. Pass. Right, East has got 13 points, their own, a hand of their own. So they could go leaping off to three no trumps if they really wanted. They know that the points for game are there, they're very balanced. But there is still the possibility of a spade fit here. So we want to see if we can find that. And we can do that by bidding two diamonds. Any new suit by Responder is forcing. So two diamonds only promises 10 plus points. Our partner has to keep bidding. Still a pass from South. And West, just a minimum hand without a fit. So they're just going to rebid their spades. Three clubs would show a stronger hand, 16 plus. I'd expect my partner to keep bidding in this sequence regardless. If they're strong enough for a two diamond bid, then in my opinion, they're strong enough for a two no trump bid. If they don't have spade, we don't still don't have a spade, but. So two spades, still a pass from North. And now East is happy. They found the spade fit, the whole purpose for our diamond bid. So we can go off to game in spades. Doesn't look like there's any chance of slam there. Pass, pass, pass. We'll see what the robots have in store for us this time. Okay, so we will count our losers. We're in a suit contract. Hopefully just three spade losers. If they split three, two. Uh, we've got no heart losers. We have definitely got a club loser in the king. And we've got two diamond losers. So a club, two diamonds, and hopefully just one spade. Now, we've been given a heart lead. If the club finesse works, then... We may be able to reduce our club loser. The diamonds, we have an opportunity to reduce the loser right now, or one of them. We can win this with the ace of hearts and immediately play the king of hearts and throw out a diamond. There doesn't seem to be any danger in doing so. We only started with four hearts, so Someone would have to have eight for them to now be out of hearts. So we'll play a heart, ditch a diamond, and see how these spades split. Mm, not great. There's still two left. So South has got one more spade and it is bigger than mine. So I'm just going to leave them with it and set about the club suit. See how that's looking. Club finesse. That works. There's not really any point in running it again. North has two more clubs, king and another, and we run the jack out of this hand, well then North is just going to put the king on, 
force out the ace and then the other will still be bigger than my eight. So I'm just going to hope that North started with King Doubleton. See if we can drop it. No. Alright, give you your club. Hang on, clubs. They've still got a diamond trick that they can take and a spade trick. But our contract is safe. South doesn't want to take the spade trick. There it is. Lose a diamond and we win the final spade to make our contract. So given the spade split, not a bad result. Turns out we could actually have finessed the ten of spades. We might have been able to do that if I played the ace of spades and then the king. Yeah, I would. I found out then that north was out. I could have finessed the ten of spades. I can cross to dummy with the clubs, and I've still got say the nine. I've still got the nine sitting there. I can run the nine. And if the 10 doesn't come out, I just duck in this hand. If the 10 does come out, I win it, and now my 7 is the top spade. So we could have made an extra trick there. If we were keeping a closer eye on what the spade cards were. Nice to be able to throw out the diamond on a diamond lead. Things would have been a bit more dire for us. We would have lost two diamonds straight away. So thankfully that did not come to pass. Or we definitely would have had to play that spade finesse if we wanted to make our contract. On to board four. West is dealer with six, nine, ten points. And a six card diamond suit. So we could open this a week two in diamonds if we wanted. You'll recall last week I talked about uh, there is a school of thought that you shouldn't open a week two when you've got a four card major on the side because you will not find that major fit. Should your partner also have four hearts. So I'm just going to pass. Week twos and minors are not that great either. 11 points for North. They have a six card spade suit. Singleton ace is pretty good. We've got a doubleton there as well. And it looks like a, a good hand to open light with. Uh, certainly it satisf satisfies the rule of 20. Our two longer suits add up to 10, six and four. Add that to our points, high card points. 11 is 21, so easily 20. So I'm going to open this one spade, just a normal one level opener. Seven points flat. East is passing. Right, south, three, five, nine, 11, 12 points. No spade for it. Five hearts, seven clubs, and a void in diamonds. It's a pretty massive hand. One, two, three losers. It's huge. Huge hand. But losers aren't any good until we find a fit. We can almost just assume that we have a club fit. Our partner's likely to have one club for us, but we what we want to try and do is find a heart fit. And we can straight away show our partner that we have five hearts by bidding two hearts. Bidding a major at the two level as responder will always be a five card suit. Five cards, ten plus points. Now West has little interest in showing their diamonds. It looks like it could get us in a lot of trouble, given we are vulnerable. It's clear that North and South have got a lot of points between them. And we actually have four hearts. They're not good ones, but 
if they do end up in a heart contract, it's going to be an unpleasant split. Pass. North, no interest in South's hearts. We can't get across the fact that we've got six spades. That's the only downside to opening one spade. We can't show our six card suit. We can show a five card suit by bidding two spades now. There's a pretty good chance we'll get to bid three spades as well. Uh, we don't have a heart fit. We've only got one. Partner's shown five. Could we bid our diamonds? No. To bid three diamonds would be breaking the barrier of two spades and promise 16 points. We certainly don't have 16 points. We opened light, remember? So all we can do here is bid two spades. East is passing again. So no luck finding a heart fit. We still don't have a spade fit. Our partner's now showing us one extra card in spades, but there's still only six between us. It looks like we're on our way to playing in clubs. Now, if we assume a fit, as I said, we've only got three losers in this hand. Our partner being an opening hand, and it looks like a minimum opening hand, should have seven. So their seven and our three makes ten. That's enough for Grand Slam, really. So, certainly five clubs should be a go here. The only question is whether we seek out slam or not. 12 points would be a very skinny slam. Our partner only has 12 points. 24 points between us. It seems, seems a bit rash even for me. I'm just going to go five clubs. And north, well, I really don't have any more to say. They've got two clubs for their partner, so... Partner must have a, a massive number of clubs, just looking for a heart fit. the robots see whether this club slam is making or not this club slam that we haven't bid right so we're in clubs we're going to count our losers well we have a club loser we're missing the king of clubs uh we do not well we do have a heart we've actually got we're going we've got the ace the king and the queen but we've got two more hearts here that if we were to draw all the trumps, we've got no way of discarding. So we might want to have a think about what we do with those. And we do not have a spade loser, the ace opposite our singleton. So it looks like a club and two hearts. Obviously, we can attempt the club finesse. Let's see if that works. That could take care of our club loser and the heart the two heart losers well we can attempt to rough one or both of the heart losers if we rough both of them we won't be able to do the club finesse anymore there is also a chance that uh we've we've got six hearts they've got seven between them if the heartbreak is 4-3, then one of our hearts would make anyway. But given that West is leading them, you have to wonder if it's a bad break. 5-2 or... I don't think the uh, robots lead fourths or anything that would give us a hint, but... One with the ace. I'm going to at least rough one club. Okay, so I've got to get over there. Rough a diamond seems the safest way. Rough a small heart. Minus, we still haven't seen the jack of hearts come out. So 
seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's three more hearts left. If they split two one, then all three of our hearts are going to be good. Otherwise, we need to rough the hearts, and then we can't do the club finesse. So I'm going to take the club finesse. I'm missing four clubs. Okay, that was no good. Another heart. We may well get roughed here. Doesn't matter too much what we throw out. Oh, there goes the jack. So all those hearts are good now. We've got the ace of spades sitting over there. We're going to make our slam. One, oh, so that was a singleton king of clubs as well. So that would have dropped. It's a shame. There's the last club. Cross to the ace of spades. Rough something. Heart tricks are good. So the heart split was 4 3. And we've got the last two trumps. 4-3 heart split, singleton king of clubs that which you didn't need to lose, so we can actually make seven clubs. We can just drop that king, but it's not the percentage play. So the slam is obviously, obviously there. We made six, we could have made seven. Maybe I should have trusted my lose account and gone looking if... Uh, South had gone ahead and bid for no trumps, ace asking. We would have got the response of two from our partner. So we know we're missing an ace. We don't know which one. Could be the ace of diamonds, which is completely irrelevant. So, hmm. Could still be marginal. You don't know where the king of clubs is. If you're missing, say, the ace of spades, the ace of hearts, then it's not looking that good. So it might not be, still might be difficult to bid on to six clubs even after ace asking. Uh, if we had ace asked, the response would have been two, which is hearts. So now we can't play in, we can't play in five clubs anymore. Would either have to sign off in five no trumps and we would do that by bidding five spades oh no we couldn't bid five spades that wouldn't work either yeah we would have been we would have been stuck in six clubs and just hoping that the heart the aces were the right ones so making slam but wouldn't have felt so great until we saw dummy go down. Right, on to board five. North is dealer, three, four, seven points, pretty flat, pass. East, four, five, eight, and flat, pass. South, four, eight, not so flat. Not the kind of hand that they can be opening. No six card suits for their eight points. Pass. So West must have all the points. Two, four, five, nine, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It's no seventeen. Two, four, five, nine, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, and balanced. So too big, too strong for a one no trump opener, but we will be looking to do a one no trump rebid potentially. So the normal opening rules apply, we're just going to open our longer suit, which is hearts. Four card majors, we're allowed to open one heart. Uh, north, well they've stolen our suit, so still nothing to say there. East is liking the hearts. Just eight points, so we're in that six to nine range where we, we would just respond two hearts. Lose account, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the lose account agrees, nine losers is just a minimum responding here. Two hearts from east. 
south now usually would not bid um, based on the rules that we've taught you you need to overcall at the two level you need 10 points and a suit with two honors in it we don't have either of those things however there is this concept of balancing now ideally would like to prevent our opponents from playing at the two level in cheap contracts so whenever we have something that we could bid that doesn't otherwise meet the criteria for bidding we have a chance now to make what we call a balancing bid we're just trying to stop them from bidding at the two level it, it might be weaker than usual you know less points less honors um, and usually you would have nothing much in their suit so you know no, none of your points would be in their suit so here we've got all those things going on we wouldn't normally overcall but we want to stop them playing in two hearts still we're still at the two level so we're not having to balance at the three level vulnerable which is nice so i'm going to throw a two spade bit in there now west found their heart fit They have, what did we decide, Seven, 16 points? 2, 4, 5, 9, 12, 14, 17 points. Their partner has shown them just a weak hand. So, could be, you know, game could be on here. We're probably very flat. Lose a count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is good enough, certainly, to bid to the 3 level. The issue that we have here is that our partner won't know whether the three level bid is a legitimate invite or it's just us being competitive um, we could double instead but a double would usually say that we want to penalize two spades because we found a fit why would we be making a double if it was anything but a penalty double so our other option is just to bid another suit. And that way we are saying that we have legitimate interest in game. So here we can bid, we'll bid our clubs. We've got nice clubs. Um, it doesn't need to be a natural suit. It's literally just to, just to show that we have a legitimate invitational hand and not just competing in the bidding. So, three clubs from west. North, seven points. We've got a spade fit. We're vulnerable. It doesn't seem like... Well, we, we also... We know they're going back to hearts. We've got this lovely heart suit. Would, we would much rather defend hearts than uh, play in a spade contract vulnerable. So we're just going to stay quiet. Now, east has to decide whether their hand is good enough for the game or not. Seven points, eight points. So it's sort of at the upper end of the six to nine that we've promised. We've got a doubleton. No, still nine losers. There's... But we do seem to be at the upper end here, so I suppose we should go four hearts. South has tried and failed to get in on the bidding, hoping that their partner's got a fistful of hearts since they don't have any. West pass, North will pass. I don't think North is good enough for a penalty double. They don't know, have any clue how strong their partner actually is because this is a balancing situation. Any time that over a non-forcing bid, uh, and they have only the one honour in hearts. They can certainly cause some carnage, but there's no guarantee they're taking four hearts light. So, seat some robots. Not feeling great about this heart contract, if I'm honest. So we'll see how it looks from Declarer's perspective. All right. 
We're going to heart our suit contract. We're going to count our losers. Clubs, since they've started by leading them. Clubs is lovely. Solid as. Diamonds, we have got one loser in diamonds. Spades, two losers. Hearts, we're missing the king. So one, two, three, four. We've got an extra loser we've got to get rid of. We have got a fourth club that we can utilize, but it is of no use. We throw out a diamond, we're still losing to the ace of diamonds. That doesn't change anything. We throw out a spade, we've still got two spade losers. We need to be able to throw out a spade in this hand. We don't have any way of doing that. So it doesn't look like we can do anything about the spade or diamond losers. Hearts. We can finesse for the king of hearts. We need north to be holding the king of hearts. And then we can send the queen through north. And see how we go. So that's exactly what we will do. Win with the ace of clubs. Queen of hearts. And we are ducking. And we get the bad news that South doesn't have any hearts. So North has actually got more hearts than we do. There is absolutely nothing we can do about losing a heart when they have more than we do. So we're in a bit of a bind now. And the question is, do we continue drawing hearts? Or do we, do we quit now? We've still got to set up the diamond suit. If we were to draw all the hearts now, then we've got no control in spades. North still has four hearts. I think it's time to play on some other suits. North can rough in, we really don't care. They're always making a heart trick anyway. It'd be quite nice to shorten their trump suit. There we go. So they've still got three hearts. Now they're down to the same length as us. And they're going to play on spade. Another club. Um, I can throw out a spade or I can rough if I rough high I'm going to get the king out I don't actually need the jack of clubs for anything And maybe ditching a spade. I've still got to lose a diamond. Even if I put the ten of hearts up, he's still going to win with the king, which is a card he could not have otherwise won with. Now I just got to ditch a spade. Hmm, doesn't want to rough. Interesting. Alright, let's set some diamonds up. Where's this ace? Not there. Might get another, oh, another diamond. Down to two hearts. All I've got left is. I need to get to my other hand now. I'm going to have to win with the jack. Now, if I play the 10, he puts the king on it, he's still got the 9. I think he's going to make two more hearts. Yeah, very unpleasant. 5-0 split. Feel like we should have done better than that. 
three light. Once we had the split, we knew it was going to be one light. We ended up losing two extra tricks. Roughed a diamond and roughed another club. Mm. We probably should have done better than that. We don't have double dummy. Can't check. Okay. Move on. Sometimes you get a bad break. Shame we didn't decide to stay in three hearts. And on to board six. Easter's dealer. Ten points flat pass. Four, six, eight, ten points. Mm, no six card suit. Not good enough to open one heart light. Four, seven, eight, twelve points. Two five card suits. We open the higher ranked of our two five card suits. And north with their flat eight count passes. East, we have a spade fit. That's easy. Two, three, six, seven, ten points. Ten to twelve should be going to the three level. Loser count says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also the three level. Perfect. Three spades. Well, South's opportunity to overcall hearts is past. And now, given this west shape, I'd say there's a very good chance they're going on to four spades. So only 12 points, but with this shape, singleton and a doubleton, all their points are in two suits, which is nice. Loser count is one, two, three, four, five, six. A partner's showing eight, that's enough for game. 14, 14 losers, enough for game in a major. So we go to four spades. That's where we shall play. Feeling a bit better about this one compared to the last one. As long as we don't get a 5-0 split again in trumps. What are the chances of that happening twice? Uh, hide the defenders, right. Oh, they've led trumps. So our trump suit is very solid. We've got no losers in trumps. We've got a heart loser, potentially two club losers. With South sitting here with the ace queen of clubs. We're going to struggle to avoid two club losers. And we've got not bad diamond suit, but if we spend three spades drawing trumps, then we're still going to have We'll be able to rough one of these three little diamonds. We'll still have two left. So let's say we've got two diamond losers, two club losers. So that's a few too many. What do we do? Not much we can do about the heart loser. The clubs we can try and finesse for the ace and the queen. Deep finesse, play towards the jack. Hoping that the queen, at least the queen is here. The queen and the ace be even better. Uh, and diamonds, well, they might split nicely. We can also rough some diamonds. We can afford to even rough high because our spades are so nice. So let's, first of all, leave those high spades over there and we'll win in our hand. So there's two spades left. We're going to set up some diamonds. Five, four diamonds left. Three, two. Queen of diamonds, interesting. We're going to rough. Remember that the diamonds are more likely to split four, two than three, three. So we're going to rough high. Oh, there's the jack. So our ten of diamonds is actually good now. Remember on the previous trick, can we see it? Yep. Previous trick, the queen fell out of south. Now the jack has fallen out of north and our ten is top diamond. So, uh, 
uh, it seems likely to me that South is going to have another diamond. Why would North put the jack up when they don't need to? But as I said, our spades are so lovely, we can afford to rough high. There we go. Both those diamonds are good now. And we've just got the club suit to tackle. Two more club losers, a heart loser. No, we actually had five losers at the start, not four. Heart, two clubs, two diamonds. We've sorted the two diamond losers. We've still got a heart and two clubs. But that's fine. We can afford to lose that many. So, let's continue drawing trumps. One more. There it is. And we're going to tackle this club suit. So I'm going to run the deep finesse, playing towards the jack, hoping that the queen is here. And it was not. And the ace was there. So that, that is the, the one situation where it is wrong to play the deep finesse, when the ace is here and the queen is here. That is the one situation out of the four possibilities where it is wrong. Unfortunately, that's the way it was. And he's not going to oblige and lead a club for me. I'll rough whatever he sends back. And our diamonds are good. Should be no diamonds left. Last diamond and last trump we can claim. So we made our contract. As you can see, if we had led towards the king and not the jack, we would have only lost one club. But if south had had the ace and not the queen, then we would have lost two. So... And if North had had both the ace and the queen, then we would have lost two. No, in that case we would have only lost one, because we only had two here. So that was more of a 50-50 call actually, that time. Okay, we made a contract. The diamonds were well behaved. Clubs not so much. But we can't have everything. It's nice to have such lovely trumps. We knew that we could rough the diamonds without being over roughed because we could rough high since we had the top, what, one, two, three, four, five, six spades, top six spades, and there's only four out against us. So it's a nice position to be in. But you still gotta look for those things. Board seven, south is dealer. Three, six, eight, ten points, and a six card heart suit. We can open two hearts. Six to ten points, six hearts, good suit, two honors. West, four, six, seven points. It's a nice hand, but seven points, vulnerable. You've either got a double to try and show your four spades, and then if they bid clubs, you're going to come back in diamonds and look really strong. Or you're going to overcall three diamonds. You're not really strong enough to be doing that. So nice. That's where the preempts are so nice. North has only got two points. So no reason to bid on. All the points are with East. Two, six, seven, eleven, fourteen. 18, 21 points. Wow. So East thinks that game is pretty likely here. It's obvious South, ob obvious south is weak. North is weak. West is obviously not massively strong, but just unable to say anything over two hearts. We only need them to have four points. We've got enough for three no trump. So it looks to me like we should just be bidding the three no trumps here. On our own. That's where we want to be. You could double and rebid no trumps, but you're always heading towards three no trumps anyway. Why why muck around? You're not likely to be able to find a five three spade fit. That's all the the only other thing you might care about. Three no trump. South has said their piece. West, well, no heart cover, but their partner must have it, so pretty happy with three no trump. The only other thing is they could go to five diamonds, but nah. 
trust your partner. And North, just pass. Be interesting to see how many of what the room played this board in on Wednesday night. We might just take a quick look at the results at the end of this. Okay, hide the defender. So we're playing in three no trumps. We're going to count our certain winners. We have one, two, three, four, and then all the diamonds. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 3 no trumps is going to be a breeze. Can we get any over tricks? Yeah, maybe. Uh, interesting that they haven't led. Who who was the big heart hand? South. Oh, I see. So South is a, elected not to lead from their heart holding. Which is just fine by us. So where can we look for extra tricks spades it's really the only option nothing else going on in the clubs and the, the chance of us making the jack of hearts is not good not without south leading hearts for us so i want to lead towards i've, I've got the option here of doing another deep finesse so i'm missing the king and the jack so i can lead towards the, the 10 and then i can come back here and and finesse again for the whatever's left you know we'll see what comes out in the wash but so I'm going to win this over here a because it plays the honors out of the shorthand which is what we want to do to unblock the suit although we've got such a massive suit it's not likely to get blocked and B I want to run my spade finesse so small spade the only risk here is that I am leading towards north who would then send a heart through my heart holding which is not ideal but we'll have some time we'll see what comes out maybe the king will come out no not so no, not so lucky there's that heart knew the heart would come uh it's small i'm just gonna duck we'll have another one unfortunately okay i'm gonna win that throw out a small spade I can't really risk. I started with four hearts. That means North still has one. South has got six. North has got started with three. They've still got one. They can still send a heart through. So I can't really risk now carrying on with the spades because if uh, North has the king. But what I could maybe do is put the queen up and see if South puts the king up. You know. I can't hurt to try. All I'm going to do is head off into my miners after this. Queen of spades. There's the king. So now my nine's good. There's another trick. Yeah? You'll believe me? The first trick I played towards the ten. Small towards the ten. Won by the jack here. So ten jack have gone. Now the queen king have gone. So my, my nine is the top spade. Top spade. Take out clubs. And now we can head off to our lovely diamonds. And those are all the top diamonds. Claim the last three. So we made five. Had we been in a diamond contract, well, we wouldn't have lost any diamonds or any clubs or any hearts, but we would still have had to do something about the spade suit. So one spade loser, maybe. Might have made six diamonds. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so out of interest let's have a look and see what I know that this is not necessarily going to be in your uh, here we go try and get it in your viewing window otherwise you'll just have to believe me so that was board seven 
Okay. Perfect, right in the middle of the video window. So you can see down here, we could have made five no trumps, exactly what we made, six diamonds or six spades. We don't even have a spade fit, but yeah, six diamonds. If you play the spades the same way that we played them, then you can make uh, six diamonds. But it's not a contract you'd want to be in when you've got that spade suit full of holes and that's where you have to make the extra tricks. So what did people do? Well, we've got... Most of them have not found game at all. Two no trump, three diamonds, four... Oh, they found four spades. Didn't play it right and went one light. It's tricky. Tricky spade suit. So there's only one pair that played in three no trumps. Congratulations to Lorraine and Bruce. Shout out to Lorraine and Bruce for being in three no trumps making five and one pair there in five diamonds. Kelly and Janet. So yeah, my, most people have not they probably bid two no trumps over the two hearts and their partner has elected to pass that because it's not going to look like 21 points. You've really got to take the ball by the horns. You know, when you've, when you've got, where are we? When you've got this many points and everybody else is looking weak, you've just got to trust that your partner will have three or four points for you. That's all you need them to have and just go for it. It feels a bit reckless, but, you know, based on the bidding, it seems unlikely your partner has nothing. If your partner has nothing, then uh, the other pair have got 20 and 19 points between them, you know, with the shape and things. There'd probably be something bid. Okay. Interesting hand. Board eight, West is dealer. Oh, big hand. Four, seven, nine, twelve, sixteen, nineteen, twenty-three points in balance. This doesn't come up very often, so our two no trump opener is twenty to twenty-two points. So we're too strong to open two no trumps. So just like when we're too strong to open one no trump when we've got sixteen points. We open something else and then rebid no trumps. In this case, our something else is our other really strong bid, which is two clubs. So we're going to show you, open two clubs, say we've got a strong hand with the intention of rebidding two no trumps. So North has only got one point. A, lot, a whole lot of shape going on, but only one point. Just pass. Now, East. Also only one point, just has to bid two diamonds. Remember, two diamonds in response to two clubs is artificial. It says nothing about their shape whatsoever. Certainly nothing about the diamond suit. It just promises zero to seven points. Okay. Zero to seven points. Remember, two clubs is game forcing most of the time. This is probably the one time it won't be. But... Um, South, 4, 6, 7, 9, 10, 13, 15 points. That is a big hand. Now, what I would do with this hand is actually double the two diamonds. Like my, it, it really doesn't look like my partner's got much here. If West has got 20-something points, I've got 15. Then North and East have five points between them. So my partner doesn't have much, certainly not enough for game, but East-West are on their way to game. So my hand is looking pretty good for taking down a game contract here. Now, I can double here, and it's called a lead directing double. A double of an artificial bid, both of these bids are artificial, two clubs and two diamonds, neither of them say anything about the suits that have been bid. A double of an artificial bid just says, I want you to lead me this suit partner. 
and it implies that you've got some length and strength in that suit. So I'm just going to double two diamonds because I want a diamond lead. I want my partner to know I've got some strength in diamonds. Lead directing double. Now West is going to continue with their original plan of their no trump reaper. They're not surprised to get a two diamond response from their partner. So two no trump is now showing 23 to 24 points and a balance 10. North, the only new information is their partner's got some diamonds and they have very little diamonds. So it's still passing. Now East knows that they have got either 24 or 25 points between them. So it's a, it's a question of whether they pass or bid on. The downside to this sort of a hand is West is, is probably never going to get over here to be able to do any finessing. Especially given that South has said they've got diamonds. So, you know, the Jack-10 of diamonds is probably not going to be that helpful. So, it could be very difficult, a very difficult hand for West to play. They're not going to have any communication between the two hands. So, going to be quite constrained in what they can do. So, Tuno Trumps might be the safe option. Just pass and play it in Tuno Trumps might be the safe option here. Even though we might have 25 points between us, we don't know. Pass. Now, back to my point about two clubs. Two clubs is game forcing, except in this sequence here, where the opener makes a no trump rebid. Now East is allowed to pass if they have zero or one points. They shouldn't be doing it with two because you've got enough. But with zero or one points, they could pass. That is the only time that two clubs is not game forcing. So that's nice to see that in action as well. And you can see East has not carried on to game. They stopped short of game. South is a little bit disappointed about this. They were looking forward to taking down a game contract, but still a good shot at taking down two no trump. They know that East must be very weak, zero or one points. Uh, and when dummy goes, well, when dummy goes down, they'll, they'll be able to see it. But they also know now that uh, West has 23, 24. So East West have between 23 and 25 points. Add on 15 down here. And North has got between zero and two points. So that's useful information for the defense as well. Anyway, we will leave the seat. Hopefully the robot understands what a lead directing double is. Hey, they do. Lead a diamond. There's a surprise evident in my voice. I don't... The robot's uh, methods can be quite... Not very transparent. Especially the basic robots. I imagine the advanced robots are better. The ones you have to play a dollar a day for. Okay, so... South is playing in two no trumps. We need to look at our certain winners. We have got one, two, three... Nothing in hearts. Four, five, six. We've got to find two more. So... We know that South is... Got pretty decent diamonds. They're certainly going to have one of the king or queen. Probably four or five. We've got seven. Interesting. Might put, I'm going to put the ten up here. Hmm, hang on. So let's think about this. If North had two diamonds they would lead their double tin top of their double tin so that the they could have the six and the two I suppose or it could be a single tin in which case it really doesn't matter what we do I'm gonna put the jack up 
which probably should force an honor out. We might be able to play on the diamond some more later. Where was our winning tricks? One, two, three, four, five, six. We need to find two more. So we may be able to finesse the jack of spades. Don't really know. It's not, I mean, it could drop. We've got six. If someone held three spades to the jack, it could drop. Is that more likely than the finesse working? Who knows? All that South has told us is that they have diamonds. We can't, how do we even get over there to run a spade finesse? Not easy. Uh, the clubs, if we can get the clubs to split 3-2, we will make one extra club trick, but that is all. Hearts, we really need them to lead hearts for us. See if we can get this jack of spades to drop and we'll set up some clubs. Maybe we can get them to lead something useful in the interim. Right. Doesn't really matter how I do these clubs. I'm going to leave the seven over there though. That could queen of clubs. It doesn't bode well for me. Ah. Okay. Bad club split. So that's no use either. On to the spades. They're looking good. Oh dear. So North has got a bunch of spades. <sighs> North started with six spades to the jack. South with only one. South started with four clubs, at least four diamonds, throwing out a diamond. South is out of Babes. If I give the lead to South in the hope that he has the Ace of Hearts, I might be able to get him to play it. Otherwise, he has to play. He can't play a spade. If he plays a diamond, that could be gifting me a trick. He can win his two clubs anyway. His two clubs are better than mine. He still can't get off lead by playing clubs. See how that goes. Force. Oh, okay. So he started with five diamonds. North started with one. Five diamonds, the two honours, and the nine. Club, another club. All right, so club's exhausted. King of diamonds. So that makes my ten of diamonds good. There's the ace of hearts. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to get to my ten of diamonds. King of hearts, queen of spades. Jack is still with north. It was a valiant attempt, but it didn't ever look like making. No, it's distribution. It's uh, nasty to play no trumps with that kind of distribution. Five diamonds. Four clubs over there. We did the best we could. At least we weren't in three, right? Depressing when you 
pick up 23 points and you can't even make 2 no trump. Right. But it's the same for everyone. Just have a, just have a quick look at One no trump. Yeah. Funnily enough, if East is playing it, they can make two. <laughs> Remarkable. One no trump was the best we could hope for. And a couple of people. Oh, look, some people made two or three no trumps on a spade lead. Ah, oh, yeah, that gives you the ten of spades. Not a crazy lead. The lead directing double in, in our case. If without it, you probably would lead a spade. That'd get you to your contract. But South asked for a diamond lead, so a diamond lead they got. Okay. Ford 9, North Dealer, 4 points flat plus. 2, 4, 8 points. Six card heart suit, only one on it, it's not a great suit. You've got an otherwise flat hand pass, we're vulnerable, nah, not going there. Eight, 12, 15, 16 points for South, not balanced. So we've got two doubletons here. So we're not balanced, we're just gonna open our diamond suit, longer suit. West, four, seven, 10, 12 points, lovely spade suit, one spade, over call. North with the four points. We've got a diamond fit now. Four points though. We're supposed to have six to nine to bid, bid two diamonds. We don't have any shape. Ten losers is not good enough for two diamonds. We're actually just going to pass this. You can always come back in later. But for now we're just going to tell our partners that we've got nothing. Right, east, two, four, eight points. No spade fit. We're not strong enough to bid our own suit. To bid our heart suit, you need 10 points. Pretty much like um, like you would to make a two level overcall. Five card suit, 10 points. So we're just gonna pass here. South. South's got a big hand, 16 points, didn't we decide? 16 points. Five diamonds, four clubs. We might as well bid our clubs. Our partner can go back to two diamonds cheap. You know, we're not vulnerable. Better than letting our opposition play at the one level. Two clubs. Uh, West is probably... Ooh, West has got four clubs. West is probably going to bid their spades again, though, to be honest. They haven't had a chance to show that they've got six yet. So this is their opportunity. Two spades. North breathes a sigh of relief, they don't have to bid anymore. Now East knows about a fit. Eight points. Probably don't really want to push on though. Not if we can play at the two level. It doesn't seem like game is there. Now, South has tried their very best to show they happily bid again with no nothing from their partner. So it suggests a strong hand already. They've showed their shape, nothing more to say. Two spades it is. All right. So, two spades. Well, we've got, we do have a spade fit. We've got the top three spades. Hopefully they split three, two, in, in which case we'll have no spade losers. We do have two heart losers and essentially two club losers. 
So we've got the ace and the king, and there's only one more over here, but by the time we've drawn trumps, there won't be any more trumps to rough with. So we have to consider ace, king, and we've got two more losers here. So two clubs, two hearts, and the diamond we're about to lose now. So if the spades break 3-2, we're all good. Can we do anything about our club loser? Not really. We can't delay drawing trumps because by the time we have played out all the clubs, they're going to start roughing in them anyway. So we can hope that the club split 3-3 three, three and we'll be okay. We can't really set up for a discard on anything else. Maybe hearts. The north happened to hold the ace, king of hearts. But too hard it loses anyway. It might be something we can try. Another diamond, which we will rough. See what's going on in the spade suit. Cross to the shorthand so we don't block the suit. Four, three, two, one, and the last spade. We don't need that diamond. Club away. It's any five clubs now. Useful inf piece of information. So we can't do anything about these heart losers. We might as well. No heart on a forthcoming. So it doesn't look like it's going to be Ace King with North. <laughs> Wishful thinking. So that's now useless. And we will see about these clubs. There's already been one thrown out. We were missing six. So that's five. That's four. Three. Two, one, perfect. There's the last club. Now they can have a heart. Oh, they have their heart on the end. Going to win my club. And the last heart is theirs. We made an overtrick. Two spades making three. Perfect. So the um, if this guy had held on to all his clubs we would have not been able to take that last club. But he threw one out earlier. To his detriment. Couldn't part with those lovely diamonds, I guess. All right, we're into double digits. Four ten. Aces dealer. Two five seven ten eleven points. Five five in the minors and avoiding hearts. It's pretty nice. So this hand again satisfies the rule of twenty. Eleven points plus our two five card suits is twenty one. And we have the great benefit of being definitely being able to make our club rebid well not definitely very likely we'll be able to make our club rebid if we open one diamond and whatever our partner comes back with we'll be able to bid two clubs so i'm going to open this hand light one diamond south has eight points five card heart suit but not really the honors flat hand vulnerable Four, seven, nine, ten, fourteen. Six hearts and five spades. Wow. Monster hand. So, one heart. We just respond with our longer suit. North, three, four, five, seven points flat. Hearts. So now East obviously hates hearts. Now they have to rebid their clubs. Come back with the club bid. West certainly has no bid now. Uh, South certainly has no bid because West has gone and bid their suit. Okay. Next up for West. Well. Time to show our second suit. However, 
a two spade bid here. Uh, two spade bid here. Normally, when one of the players bids the unbid suit, the last unbid suit, the fourth suit, it's usually just asking for more information. It's not normally a natural bid. Um, often it's to ask whether they have whether the partner has an extra card in a major or if they have uh, cover in a suit for no trumps or you know what's going on. So although we intend for two spades to be natural here, it's not going to be seen as that. It shouldn't be seen. Most of you probably aren't playing. It's called fourth suit forcing, and a lot of the novices won't be playing it yet. But why bother bidding the fourth suit? It's unlikely your partner has it. You can't show five cards yet. But although in this case we probably can, so we can rebid. It's very diff. This is very difficult shape to bid. Um, so we either bid two spades here, which is forcing anyway because we've gone past our original suit. Or we could, we can't really rebid two hearts, that would be seen as a weak bid. So if we're going to rebid our hearts, we'd have to bid three hearts, and that, that would show six, certainly. Um, if we bid two spades, and then we bid spades again, that would show five spades, but wouldn't necessarily... Uh, it probably would show six hearts, actually. Because if we had five spades and five hearts, we would have bid our spades first. So that, that looks promising. We'll bid spades. We'll bid spades. Our partner will bid something else and we'll bid our spades again. Two spades. Forcing. Should probably alert that, to be honest. Um, still nothing from north. Okay, so the two spade bid, if we're playing it as fourth suit forcing... It's just asking East to describe their hand a bit better. So in this case, East has another card in clubs that they haven't been able to tell their partner about yet. So they can go and bid three clubs. So now they're showing five diamonds and five clubs. So West is really not interested in diamonds or clubs. Uh, and wants to, if we rebid our spades now, it's going to show our legit legitimate holding in spades in a five card suit. It wouldn't be a four card suit. It could only be a five card suit. Now, if we've got five spades, we can't have five hearts as well, or our initial response would have been one spade. Remember, you respond the higher ranked of your two five card suits, just like when you're choosing between two five card suits as opener. So we can't have five spades and five hearts. We must have five spades and six hearts. So that describes our hand quite nicely. Whether our partner gets it or not, this is all getting quite complicated. But three spades should now show an actual spade suit when we bid two spades, it wasn't. It was just a, an asking bid, a fourth suit forcing asking bid. Now it's a natural bid, and it's a five-card suit, and so we must have more hearts than spades. Six hearts, five spades. All right. Uh, now we've, we know we've got a spade fit, right? We found a spade fit with our partner, and we can account for the fact that we've got this void here. So our partner's looking pretty strong, to be honest. They're forcing to gain with the bidding that they've done. The three spade bid. The two spade followed by the three spade is looking pretty strong. So let's look at two, five, seven, ten, eleven. Oh, we opened this light, that's right. But now we've got our distribution to consider with our void. So lose account is now one, two, three, four, five. That's a huge hand. That's like a 18, 19 point hand. And this here is a game forcing hand. So we, we're certainly in the realms of slam here. We found a spade fit, so we're gonna go ace asking. Four no trumps. How many aces you got, partner? South, who's sitting there with two aces, is gonna stay very quiet. <laughs> and West is going to say, I have two aces. 
five, clubs is zero, diamonds is one, hearts is two. So that's the bad news from East's point, East's point of view. We are missing two aces. One of them we might not care about, but we could be missing the Ace of Clubs and the Ace of Diamonds and our part when we've picked that our partner is six five in the majors. They could be small small in the minors, missing both aces. So I think we safety says we just stop at five spades. Unfortunately, without more uh, elaborate bidding, in particular Q bidding. We don't know where our shortages are. We don't know that we both have voids in different suits. And in fact, six spades is probably going to make. So, five spades. Okay. Crazy hand. But we found a good contract. Right, so we're playing in five spades. It's not the greatest spade suit in the world, is it? We don't have anything from the bidding to show where the opposition points might be. Okay, spades, we're potentially losing two spades, probably two spades. Clubs, well, we don't really have any club losers. Got a void over here. Hearts. Wow, hearts is looking. We're not going to be able to ruffle these hearts. North shouldn't have the ace of hearts. You don't underlead an ace in a suit contract. So North should not have the ace of hearts. So we could, what we could do here is throw something out and set this heart suit up. Seems like a good option. But anyway, uh, back to our count. Well, we don't have any diamond losers. We we really we really do have heart losers. Because we can't rough them all. Not without it making our spade situation even worse. I think we're better off to set the spade let's set the heart suit up. So let's say we have uh, just the one heart loser. We're gonna lose the ace on purpose here. And one heart loser, two spade loser. So we've, we looks like we could be going light. Hopefully the spade suit will behave itself. Well, that's probably a handy lead for us. Okay, we're missing five spades. I'm going to duck this and see what comes out. Four, three. Play the ten here. It'll either win or south will have the jack, and then we're home free. We'll only lose one spade. Okay. 2 1. So there's just the jack of spades left, which it looks like north has. Now we could rough another heart if we wanted to. Here might be a safe thing to do in case one of the defenders started with lots of hearts we don't need the queen of spades anymore and it is it can't be over rough okay so that's that's seven hearts eight nine ten eleven so we're all good in hearts now we just got to get back to our hand safely roughing a club should be pretty safe draw the last trump And all our hearts are now good. King of Diamonds and Last Trump. So we made five spades. 
So as it turned out, the uh, the aces were actually all good. The, the the missing two aces weren't a problem because of where our voids were, but our trump suit was a problem. Our trump suit was a bit holy. So it was a good thing we were just in five spades. Didn't get in too much trouble. As it was, uh, it was quite handy south leading trumps. It would have been more difficult if we had to have done it ourselves. I definitely would have led towards the queen 10. Probably would have led towards the 10. Take the deep finesse. Yeah, which would have been, that would have been fine on this occasion. So... Right. Hopefully there's not too much noise on the video. It's uh, it's raining outside this evening. Hopefully that's not coming through through the microphone too much. Board eleven. South is dealer with flat six pass. Three points pass. Four, eight, ten, fourteen, seventeen, nineteen points balanced. So our plan here will be to open normally and then do a jump no trump rebid to show eighteen to nineteen. Remember a minimum no trump rebid is fifteen to seventeen, a jump no trump rebid is eighteen to nineteen. So our normal opening would be to open our longer suit, which is clubs. East. 4, 7, 10, 12 points. Or they could throw a double in. They have a sh Well, they have three cards in all the other suits in an opening hand, so... Sure, why not? South. Six points is enough to respond. Uh, their longer suit is spades. One spade. West with three points is off the hook now. They don't have to respond to the double anymore, nor should they. If they were to bid here, it would be a constructive bid showing eight points. Eight is great. Three points is not great. North, uh, no spade for it. So we'll go, our original plan was our jump, no trump rebid, two no trumps. And this is now a game forcing scenario. 18 to 19 opposite at least six. We should be in game in something. And both parties should be playing that to be the case. So, East, they put their double out. They got nothing from their partner. They got nothing more to say. South, flat hand, six points. Game force, we've probably got enough for game, so off we go. We've got nothing, no other suits to investigate. Three no trumps and east is on lead. Okay. So in no trumps we count our suit and winners. One, two, three, club suit solid, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. We need to find one more somewhere. So we've got certainly no hope in the diamond suit without the defenders squashing their own honours. Uh, we've got the spade, we can finish the queen of spades and the king of hearts. So we just need one of those finesses to work and hope that the opposition don't run too many tricks and diamonds along the way. So I'm going to take the spade for this first, just because there's a few more honours in that suit. Play the ace first, you never know, the queen might drop as a singleton. It's unlikely when we only hold six, but we can always get across to the spades later on uh, via the jack of clubs. It's also our opportunity to run the heart for Ness again. Okay, spade for Ness work. Now let's go for the heart for Ness as well. Leave those spades hanging for now. Okay, heart for Ness failed. 
I'm going to switch to diamonds. Hopefully they can't take too many tricks and diamonds. Maybe I should have just taken my tricks and run. No, we're all good. Oh, hang on. No, they can get one more diamond. Oh, East must have the last diamond. Jack of clubs. Honours out of the shorthand. King of spades. And cross to my winning clubs. Unnecessary risk to leave the, um, to do the heart finesse. I probably should not have done that. I was lucky that the, uh, fourth diamond, they, he ended up blocked away from his fourth diamond. Ace, king, cross to the queen, now they're stuck over here. Otherwise I would have gone right. So when my spade finesse worked, I should have just taken the king of spades, taken the jack of clubs, rest of my clubs the other, the ace of hearts, and that gets me my contract. Anything else is too risky. I'm a sucker for a finesse. Can't help myself. But we've got our contract. Or 12. We're past the halfway point. West is dealer, 2459. 10 points. Not enough to open. North. Two, six, ten points also, even flatter. Three, six, seven, ten points also. I'll see where this is going. Everyone's going to have ten points. Um, East has got a bit more shape with a six card diamond suit, but only one honor. Not that great. Oh, they're in the third seat. Do we open two diamonds with that? Maybe. You're not vulnerable. It could be just a chance to mess up north south bidding. It looks like either everyone has got 10 points or south is going to have a big hand. So the two diamond bid could, could throw them off. So I think, it, yeah, it's probably worth two diamond bid here. We don't have the honours we would like to have, but we are in the third seat. We're just, we're not vulnerable, we're just trying to be a little bit annoying. South has got a five card spade suit, four, six, nine, ten points. It's a rubbish spade suit. Nah, got to pass. West, ten points. Diamond fit, but nah, nothing else to say. And North still has ten points. Four diamonds, so good defensive hand. So we will play in two diamonds. Right. So we're in a we're in a diamond contract. A suit contract, we're going to count our losers. Well, we definitely have to lose to the Ace of Diamonds, but good chance we also have another loser in Diamonds. So I'm going to say two losers in Diamonds. Uh, spades is fine. We've got the Ace King off in a double turn. We have got possibly three losers in Hearts here. And two losers in clubs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven losers. So we've got to try and restrict that by two. Well, straight away we have an opportunity here with the spade lead. Uh, because we can finish for the queen. And we will be certain to promote one of our spades here, which we could use to throw out, say, a club. So... See if we can't force the queen out. There it is. Now I need to get this club out before I play on diamonds because if I lose to the ace of diamonds, they could then run their two club tricks. So I've got to do it now. 
So I'm going to go, and I have to overtake the nine. I've got no other way to get over there. So even though the nine's a winner, nine, ace. Now it's possible that south is out of spades, but what can you do? It might help me with my diamond situation if they rough anyway, and I'm still getting rid of a club loser. So see what happens. Oh. It's a shame. North is out of spades. I'm going to leave, I'm going to throw my club. It's always, it's always a loser, so. Let a heart for me. Moment of truth. Deep finesse. I'm guessing that he would not have, he won't have the ace, I don't think. South could have the ace and the queen. Diamond. Well, one's gone already, so I'm down to four. Three, two. Still two diamonds left out. Ace of hearts is still out. I could play a club. I don't know who would be giving the lead to. If North had it, they're probably just going to lead a heart through me. Concerned that South has the ace ten of diamonds still. They're going to get two diamond tricks anyway. At least if they got the ace of diamonds, then they might lead a heart for me. Or they might just lead another spade. Tricky. I still think south has the ace of hearts. And I want them to lead it. But I think they're too clever for that. Gonna lead a diamond. No, well, two diamonds are in the other hand. You can still lead a heart through me. There it goes. Ten. Still got the ace sitting over me. At all the good hearts. Club. Oh, I've still got hearts. Look at that. Heart situation was hopeless as long as North could get in. Still got a diamond to lose. Last one's mine. Gosh. It's most unpleasant. Still too light, not vulnerable. It's not the end of the world. Be curious what can actually make on that hand. No, everyone's got 10 points as it turns out. Uh, north, south, don't. Oh, they got a heart fit and a nice split. If the honor's in the right place, maybe two hearts is making for north, south. So minus a hundred's not so bad when they could be on minus one ten, minus one forty if they're making three. Let's have a look. Four twelve. So what have we got here? East West can make one diamond. I don't even think we made one diamond, did we? We were too light, yeah. Couldn't even make one diamond. North South can make three hearts, two spades, so yeah. So the two diamond, but I guess um, was useful. Whether South would have opened or not, I don't know. We would have done better had we just passed than going light and two diamonds. It's all right. Not sure how I could have kept it to one light.
possibly saving the spades. If I'd saved the spades, if I'd played across to the Queen of Diamonds, Jack, Queen, Ace. Now I'm pretty sure that the 10 is here. I can finesse the 10 coming back this way. So that could be how it makes. And then I've still got the spades at the end there. Which could help to ditch some heart, these horrible hearts. Something like that. As it turns out. 13, North is dealer. 12 points, not balanced. Open our longer suit, which is clubs. East has got 5 points. Not enough to be overcalling. No one is in the suit either. South, 2, 4, 6, 10 points. Lovely heart suit with that long, longer suit. West, 4, 5, 8, 11 points, but no overcall. No double either. If they double, they're really promising four spades and four diamonds. I certainly don't have four diamonds. So, I mean, they also don't have, what have we got? 11 points. Close enough. Close to uh, enough for a takeout double. All right, North, no interest in their partner's hearts. Just be a 12 point. If we can't bid two diamonds, that would be breaking the barrier and promising 16 points. We're just going to have to rebid our clubs. Now, East may well consider. Oh, no. Still too weak. Too weak for a balancing bid. Two clubs is non forcing, so. Oh, I've already gone and passed. Two clubs is non forcing, so East. It's a balancing situation for East because South might pass. But. No. It's just. Not. You're vulnerable. You've got points. A point. In their suit. It's just not that great. Five points. Five points is terrible. Two, six, ten. Two, six, eight. Twelve points from South. Okay, well, does actually like the clubs now, but would still rather find us fit in hearts, or happily playing no trumps. So we need to show that we're strong, so we're going to jump to three hearts. That'll show six hearts and game force. West, certainly no bid now. North still doesn't have a heart for it. Set all we can in clubs. We've got cover and spades and diamonds, so we can go to three no trump. East will pass. Now, South is probably going to be happy to play there. They actually have some cover and diamonds and spades themselves, even though there's a known club fit. Three no trumps is a better spot, better score, lower level, all that. So we will play in three no trumps. All right. Oh, oh gosh. What have I done? Oh, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. I made the wrong person to clear her. I can't stop them. Why can't I stop them? I can't. I can't get out of the seat at all. Oh, now it's... The robots have taken over. No. Oh, huh. now it's. Oh, okay. It's gone and then accepted an undo.
Yeah. Crazy. So north is supposed to be the clearer. cannot undo so we'll have to come back to this board board 13 sorry about this robots are completely out of control We get the bidding back to where it was. Robots down and hide the defense. There we go. Okay, so we're in three no trumps. We need to count our certain winners. Well, spades, we've got none. We've got one heart, one club, one diamond. So we've got three. So we're a long way off where we need to be here. We've got to find six more. So we are actually certain of two spade tricks if we let the spade run around then either west will take it with the ace and our king queen will be promoted or they'll take it with the jack and then our king will be promoted and one of our queen and ten will come good once the ace is out or they'll play something lower than the ten we'll win it with the ten and we've still got one of our king or queen so we'll see there's the jack so up goes the king and now we still got the ace to come out in spades, but we'll get another trick. In clubs, we have got a nice suit here. We've actually got a, as we knew, we've got a club fit, um, but we're missing the king and the jack. So we need to run the deep finesse in that suit and see how we get on. Uh, entries, well, we've got the ace of diamonds. We've also got a heart finesse we can take. We can only take it once, unfortunately. And we might want to do that later. Of course, any finesse that fails, they're going to carry on in spades. And we, uh, if we're going to run the deep finesse in clubs, we're pretty sure that one of the finesses will fail. There's a 75% chance that one of the finesses will fail. One will fail, one will work. So I'm going to cross with the Ace of Diamonds. And finishing to the 9 or 10. There's the Jack. So I'm hoping that West has the Queen. I've gone to Diamonds. They set up my uh, Queen Jack of Diamonds for me. And now they're back to Spades. So another entry into South's hand wouldn't hurt. Okay, I'm not going to get my entry. Making me win it with the 10 now. So I'm going to, have to use the hearts as an entry to run the club finesse again. Now, there's a very good chance that my second club finesse will work. Well, actually it's 50 50 now, but the likelihood of East having the king and the jack was not that great to begin with, especially since they seem to have a love for spades. I've got 
three tracks. There's five, six, seven, eight. So the heart finesse seems like an unnecessary risk. Although it is finessing into the safe hand. If West still has another spade, then East only started with four and I'm not going to get destroyed in spades. But if the heart finesse fails, I can never get over there again. So I'm just going to play it safe and play the ace. And I can run the eight. The ten and the jack are gone already. There's the king. Perfect. Take my clubs and my diamonds and make my contract. And I'm guessing East will have the Ace of Spades. Oh, there goes the King of Hearts. So, oh, West had the Ace of Spades. Um, King of Hearts was with West as well, so that finesse would have failed. With the heart finesse. So we got about as many as we could. Oh, you can see that um, East actually held Doubleton Jack. So if we had run... Ah, oh, no, because we still needed to finesse twice. That, that's fine. Yeah. We could have finessed once, and if it had worked, we wouldn't have dropped the king with the ace. And if we come back to finesse again, had one with his jack. So, that's all good. Nothing wrong with three, no trumps, make it four. We were a little a point light, both we were 24 points, 12 opposite 12. The heart suit was more or less useless. But our club fit turned out to be pretty valuable. We made four tricks and clubs. And we were helped by the defense playing the king of diamonds. Definitely. Sometimes you need a little help from your friends at the table. East is dealer. Wow. Five points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine clubs and five points. That's insane. It's a shame that there's a first seat, really. I mean, do you open five clubs? Nine. You've got nine clubs. It's remarkable. If you open five clubs and your partner's actually got a strong hand, it's not looking so great. Maybe it would be better to wait... And you can go leaping off to five clubs. Hopefully you'll get the chance to. Uh, if your partner doesn't show up with anything amazing. Let's just pass. Right, South has got ten points. Five diamonds and four spades. Just passing. West has got four, seven, nine, thirteen, sixteen, eighteen points. Nice. One heart finish. North. Seven points, likes hearts, pass. Right, well, looks like West suit is hearts. We're unlikely to have a fit with them in spades, so we might as well just, do we think five clubs is making? If our partner, if we put our partner on seven losers, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's good enough for five clubs. Could six clubs be making? If our partner's stronger, maybe. Hmm. All right. Let's take it slow. So I'm going to bid two clubs here. Obviously, I don't have ten points, but my intention is always to go to five clubs anyway. This is. I'm just feeling out my partner to see if they've got more than just a minimum hand. South, 10 points. They could put two diamonds here, actually. 10 points, nice diamond suit. Why not? 
nothing else that gives our partner something to lead. All right, West would quite like to show this spade suit now. Two spades. They can bid two spades. They're strong enough to break the barrier. Remember, the barrier is two hearts. They've certainly got more than 16 points. Do we decide 18? 18 points. It doesn't show that we have six hearts, but it does show five. We might have to bid hearts later on. The alternative is we could have bid three hearts to show so if we wanted to get across that we had six hearts. Maybe it's unlikely our partner has four spades for us. Four diamonds. Uh, North actually might have bid three diamonds there just to be a pain. Let's undo that. So North has got a four card diamond fit with their partner. The law of total tricks says that we can bid to the three level if we have nine trump tricks. Nine trump cards. Nine trump. Nine card trump suit. Um, and we've actually got a bit of shape here with a single tenace of clubs. So it's probably where the three diamond bid not vulnerable. Now, East knows that their partner has a big hand. They're probably not just seven losers anymore. They're probably six. And we have got one, two, three, four, five, six. Should we be in six clubs? I think there's a very good chance we should be. It's just freakish distribution. So I'm going to bid four no trumps here. I don't care about my partner's hearts or spades. Just want to know whether to play in five clubs or six clubs. Didn't even plan to have a lot of aces though. Okay. Four no trumps. Actually, let's think about this. Let's think about this just a second. If my partner comes back with, I need them to have three aces, don't I? I could get away with two aces, but the two aces are likely to be in hearts and spades. Can I bail out at five no trump? Do I want to bail out at five no trump? Probably not. No, I think it's too risky to go six, to go ace asking. I'm just going to have to go five clubs. Just too risky. Okay. All right. So we're playing in a suit contract. We kind of losers. Oh, just look at this. Straight away we've got two diamond losers, so two diamond losers, two club losers. We have got no chance. We're not even going to make our game contract here. And we needed some help in clubs from our partner. Probably the lesson there is that if we're going to go off like that, we need a better trump suit. Needs to be in a self-supporting trump suit. Uh, I think I'll win it over here just so that I can lead towards my trumps. What do I, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're missing 3. 2, 1. We're still missing the king. Which they can have at any time. And all the rest of the clubs are ours. Too light, not great. Yeah, I think our club suit just needed to be... Yeah, it's great having nine trumps, but when your partner has shown that they're all about the majors, you could be missing the ace-king of trumps. Uh, but that's not great. 
we've also got Doubleton Diamond there when our partner has shown that they're all about the majors. So, And as expected, our partner was no help to us in the minors. So we had four losers in the minors. So a little ambitious there. Lesson learned. And because our partner was so strong, we didn't we certainly didn't prevent North South from getting into any decent contract because they had not much happening for them. Five diamonds isn't making. Okay, 15 south, 4, 7, 9, 12, 14, 15 points, not balanced, we've got two doubletons, open our longer suit, 4, 7, 9 points, this suit, this hand is good for a spade overcall, one level overcall does not need to be 10 points, can be as low as 7, and 9 points, 5 card suit, 2 honours, lovely. North has got six points, unable to support partner's diamonds. Uh, we don't really have a suit of our own apart from clubs. We can't bid that at the two level with six points. Can we bid one no trump as a last resort? Yeah, we probably can. Jack 10, 8, 7 looks like a decent stop in the spades. We should win. We should be able to win one spade. We should be able to stop the spade suit with that. So we'll go win the trump. Four, six, nine, ten. No spade. All about the hearts. Let's go two hearts. Four, seven, nine, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. So not much points for our partner. We probably don't really want to go bidding three clubs when our partner's trying to weak hand. We are vulnerable and we have Ace King in the opponent's current suit. Leave it alone. West, just nine points. No heart fit. Could go two no trump, but Mm, not great. Only nine points. Partner might only have ten. Might just have to pass two hearts there. North. Well, I said there, but two hearts it is. So we're playing in two hearts. We have a heart fit, that's something. But we've got a lot of losers in hearts. Probably going to lose mm, maybe three hearts. Three hearts. Spades are good. Diamond loser. And maybe three club losers. The We've got an extra spade here that can be used to chuck a diamond or a club, probably a diamond. If our diamond, ace of diamonds doesn't get taken out, we might even be able to set up the spade suit, depending how it's flipped. The hearts, well who knows what's going on with the hearts. At least one of the heart honours is gone. And there's the diamond stop taken out, it didn't take long. So, I probably want to get onto the spades now then, really. Added benefit of getting me over to dummy to lead towards my queen of hearts in case north has the remaining heart honour. I may be getting roughed here, though. 
Yeah. Oh, look, King of Hearts. That was something. We got rid of our Diamond Loser and the King of Hearts. So, two hearts remaining and... Our Queen of Hearts is good, but it looks like South must have no more hearts. Why would he rough with the King? He must be out of hearts. Gotta be. Rough the Diamond. Yep, as expected. I'm just going to give North a heart because I kind of want them to leave me a club. Though they're probably going to leave me a diamond. Spain. That's right, the spades didn't split, did they? South rough with the King of Hearts. All right, fine. There's the Queen of Clubs. Good. That, uh, now I've got to rough this though. Hmm. Can't see any point in letting him win the Jack of Diamonds. I just have to throw out a club. What I'm hoping is that whoever has the Ace of Clubs only has one other club under it and has to give me. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, I'd, that must be the case then. Yeah, North had two clubs left, so they could have either won the Ace or given it back to me or ducked that second pen penultimate trick and then won with the Ace on the end. So we just managed to squeak in with two hearts. I was a bit fortunate. All good. Hope, glad we didn't get up any higher. Doesn't look like the opposition had neither got a club fit. Board 16. West deal. 4, 6, 7, 9, 13, 15. Not balanced. We got two double tins, so we'll lead our longest suit. One diamond. North. 3, 5, 6, 9 points. They're looking very similar to the previous hand. Lovely spade suit. We can overcall with that with 9 points. East has only got 3 points. So they cannot bid. South, 4, 7, 11, 12, 13 points. This is very similar to the last hand. Spade over call. Heart suit here. 4, 7, 11, 12, 13. Uh, two hearts. I'll show my own suit. West. 4, 6, 7, 9, 15 points. Wow. Can't really go bidding three diamonds by ourselves. Not with five and that many points. Plus we're vulnerable. There's no point showing our spades because North has bid them. And we'll see what North does next. Okay. Don't like your hearts. This is very this is a very similar situation to last time. Nine points. It's not really enough to be bidding three clubs. But it's tough because You never know what your partner might have. We haven't found a fit though. I mean, no, I'm just going to pass again. Just like last time. And East, still got nothing to say. All right, two hearts again. Let's 
sort of supposed to be respond to your partner show a new suit in response to your partner's overcall it's kind of supposed to be forcing but in both situations we've ended up at such a high level that it doesn't seem right for it to be forcing okay two hearts so we don't have a heart fit we may have two heart losers here i'm going to count it as two Queen, one of the Queen Jack, two of the Queen Jack 10, I'm thinking I could well be losing here. Um, Queen of Clubs lead is pretty nice. It suggests, though, that West might only have the Queen of Clubs, which means we may well have another club to lose. But we'll see. It could be a doubleton. So we've got two hearts we do have a spade to lose and we've got three diamonds to lose we've got a pretty nice spade suit to set up here though so we need to leave this king of clubs as an entry to the spade suit which is fine because i've got two honors down here anyway so i i should be playing from the hand with two honors so Ace of clubs, there's three clubs remaining. See what the heart situation is. Do I need to rough? Maybe I should be roughing a diamond first. I don't think they'll let me. But I can set the spades up anyway. So, nah. Let's not worry too much about that. Five, four, three, two... Left, 10, 7. Hmm. Leave them alone now. Okay. Spades are set up. But they're going to run the diamonds before I get a chance to discard. That's fine. Because I have a club loser to get rid of anyway, I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't a... No, no, the clubs are all good anyway. I set all those spades up and I don't need them. Still a heart out there. But... Don't take your heart. Oh, it was a two. Ah. Still two hearts out there, isn't there? The ten of hearts are still out there. Ten two. Why did I think it was ten seven? Oh, I had the seven. Seven eight nine. Ah, that was a bit foolish. So I should have. Can we? No can't replay it so I should have got those hearts out I thought that they had 10 7 I had the 7 and so I thought that uh, if I play mine I'm just giving them two hearts anyway they're always getting two hearts but they actually had 10 2 and so I could have forced out the 10 and made and beaten the 2 so that was a bit sad Hmm. I don't really have any way to get rid of my diamond loser because I couldn't set the spades up. I suppose I could have set the spades up while I still had a trump and dummy. But I thought that West was out of clubs. I thought the Queen of Clubs was a singleton. And so then when I went to cross to the King of Clubs to my set up spades, they would have roughed in anyway. That was not the case though. So one light in the end. Probably make, well it does make, yeah. Because they got to rough with their tiny hearts.
Should have made two hearts. Should have paid better attention to the heart suit. We'll take that lesson into board 17. Flat, seven count pass. East, also seven count. A little less flat, but still flat. South, two, three, seven, nine, ten. Ten points in a six card club suit. We can't do a week two in clubs, so we're going to have to pass. West, four, seven, nine, twelve, fifteen. Sixteen points in a great big long diamond suit. North, no bid over one diamond. East is going to bid the spades. South, South can overcall two clubs now. And West is no support for partners spades. Four, seven, nine, twelve, 12, 16 points. So, and with six diamonds, that's enough to jump to three diamonds. Showing a six card suit and 16 points. North, no support for clubs, so nothing to say. East, well, we've got a diamond for it. Do we have enough for game? It's pretty marginal. We've got seven. Our partner's promised sixteen. That's twenty-three for a and for a minor game. That's not not that great. Loser count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Our partner's showing six. Even if they had five, it's still not enough for a minor game. So I think we should just pass three diamonds. Nothing to indicate we have enough points for three no trump or the necessary cover in various suits. Three diamonds. All right. So diamonds. What have we got in the way of losers? Well, we've got two diamond losers for the ace queen. No spade losers, no heart losers. And on that lead, we have two club losers. One, two, three, four. So we'll make our contract. We should make our contract regardless. Uh, what else can we do? We could rough a club. Or we could throw a club away on the king of spades. It'd be probably safer. And we have options for a deep finesse in diamonds. Not something that we can run twice though without roughing a club. Probably is going to be fine to rough a club. It's only an issue if they split 6-2. Let's do that. Oh, wasn't fine. They did split 6 2. But North didn't feel like roughing. Interesting. Okay, so now we can run the deep finesse. We're missing four diamonds. North either has very good diamonds or very poor diamonds. Queen and the ace. Right, very good diamonds. So we were never getting away from our two diamond losers. But we sorted our club loser. Wasn't even paying attention. Did uh did South follow to that second round of diamonds? Oh we double check. No, they did not. Okay. Ace of spades, heart, and we got the remaining trumps. So we made an over trick because we got rid of that club loser. 
by roughing it in the end. And the diamonds were never going to play nice. Three to the ace queen sitting over our king jack ten. But that's fine, we made a contract. Three no trumps would have been pretty interesting. Okay. 18, East is dealer, 4, 7, 10, 12 points, 2 doubletons so we're not balanced, longer suit the spades, only 5 points here and also a spade suit, 7 points for West, it's enough to respond but we can't, we're not big enough to show our suits at the two level. Our bit of last resort is one no trump. North, four, seven, nine, 13, 16 points, big hand. So rather than just over calling clubs or hearts or something, we can double and then rebid a suit to show that we've got a hand of 16 or greater so kind of limits overcalls to being at most 15 points if you're always going to double and then make a bid to show 16 or more so east is going to show their second suit gives their partner a choice between clubs and spades south is off the hook and with five points they got nothing to say plus their long suit is East's long suit, so. And West is going to go back to spades. We now have a spade fit. Now that we know our partner has five spades. It's only seven points, but we do have a singleton. So if we look at loser counts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's actually eight losers there. It's enough to be bidding to the three level on distribution. So we should honour the lose count. It's a big step up. Seven points up to representing ten, but... Well, North really can't be saying anything now. They couldn't get their partner to speak. It's a shame, because it's such a lovely hand. But... No, the part suit, they're not going to want to bid clubs now because that's a second suit. And the heart suit is just not that strong on its own with no clue about what South has. So, pass. East. Been given an invite to game. They are minimum. They've got a little shape going on. Lose account. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, it's still just a minimum opening hand. So, we'll pass three spades. And South will happily defend three spades. And now uh, West wishes they had just bid two spades, given that the invite went nowhere. We've got unnecessarily high. All right, suit contract. So what have we got? If the spades behave, then we've got no spade losers. We've got no heart losers, and the queen of hearts is quite nice. We have got a bunch of club losers. Potentially four club losers. Four club losers, two diamond losers. So that's two more losers than we would like to have. So we need to do something about those club losers. And the diamond ones. So, we've got an extra heart, we can rough a heart based on this lead, let the bidding go, double from north, hmm. 
Hmm. The North's probably got hearts. The Queen of Hearts, though, is a pretty interesting lead with obviously nothing underneath it. It looks like a doubleton or a singleton. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to utilize the heart suit prior to drawing trumps. So we may need to. We'll win this with the King of Hearts, with the Honor in the shorthand, and then we need to play some clubs. We're going to have to rough some clubs. I'm probably going to switch to spades now. Yep, as expected. So I need to win it in the other hand so that I can rough. Oh. So South has all five spades. Nasty. Just nasty. And South is also the one that we suspect was short of hearts. Right. So we know that we can finesse the ten of spades. But if we do that, we're not going to be able to rough any clubs. We can set up some hearts, knowing that South will rough, but we don't. We would actually be quite useful to shorten. Shorten the trump suit that South's holding. So. That's eight. North throwing one away is nine, ten or eleven. I'm pretty sure that South is now out of hearts. And throw away, I mean, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to throw away a diamond. We, we might get a chance to rough a club. I know we can win this with a nine. Um, South is now down to three spades, two spades. Played one round, they've rough once, and they've led now. So they're down to two spades. I really two spades. I'm gonna take my queen of spades now. Doesn't really seem to matter what I use it for. Heart, I think, is losing. Yeah, I probably should have just played a diamond there. I'm going to lose control. Really can only expect to win the King of Spades from here. Three light, wasn't it? It's not too pretty. We've had some very unfortunate Trump splits tonight. Well, at least we didn't push on. Stopped in three. That's something. Very dismal club situation as well that we had to deal with. 19. South, 4, 6, 8, flat, pass. 4, pass. 4, 8, 9, flat, pass. 3, 5, 9, 12, 13, 14, 17, 19 points. Not balanced, we've got a five card major, so we're just going to open one heart. The big problem with this hand is we don't have a rebid. I'll show you why. So, oh, you're not going to get another bid anyway, unlikely. West has only got four points, so he has to pass. 
North, eight, nine points. Bit of a club suit, but pass. <laughs> so we've ended up in one heart. So we didn't actually get to see about Opener's Rebid, but the issue that you have here is you open one heart, your partner comes back with, say, one spade. What do you do? If you bid two hearts, you're, most of the time it's showing 12 to 15 points. You're really not getting across just how big you are. Certainly not 19 points. Um, if you bid three hearts, well, you're promising six hearts. So it's, very, it's a very big problem. And that's why it's so much nicer when you can... Uh, you can rebid one no trump or two no trump, do a no trump rebid with a five card major. And that's what checkback statement is really good for. It helps you to find that, well, it helps the responder to find the five card major. So I suppose we could also have looked at opening at two clubs. It seems unlikely on a flat. So, um, the rule for opening two clubs light with less than 20 points is that your hand needs to, your point count plus your two longer suit need to add to 29. So it's similar to that rule of 20 we've been talking about, but it's the rule of 29. So that's a, This is only in New Zealand, sorry. That, that is a specific rule in the New Zealand bridge manual um, that unless you are alerting your two club openers and explaining them as being something else, based on lose account or um, or trick, whatever they call them, tr winning tricks or something, um, then your two club opener must either be 20 plus or meet this rule of 29 that we have. So in our case, we've got 19 points and our two longer suits only total eight. So that only gets us to 27. So it doesn't meet the requirements for opening two clubs. So, yeah, you're a little bit stuck. But in this case, one heart partner has passed, so we didn't have to worry about our rebid. For better or for worse. Right, paying in one heart. Well, at least our partner has three hearts for us. And four points, which is more than they might have. So we still go through the same process of counting our losers. And hearts, we have one in the queen. Spades, we've got possibly two. If south holds the ace-jack, they're going to make both of those. So two spades, we've got... Uh, we do still... Well, I think we can be fairly certain that north will have the ace of diamonds. So we should only have one diamond loser, and we've got one club loser. So, there's the ace of diamonds. A heart, well... Interesting, isn't it? I suppose I should take the finesse while I've got the opportunity. Do I think North would have led away from the six, though? By oh, the Queen, really. So picking South has the Queen, so... If South doesn't have the ten... There it is. Of course, they might only have had two. Maybe I should have just put the ace. If I'm if I'm fairly certain that South has the Queen of Hearts, then I probably should just put the ace up. See if they've got doubles and Queen. Anyway. And one more heart. Oh, they had three to the Queen, so we were never winning the Queen of Hearts. Right.
and duck that, see what happens. King of Clubs, well, if North and South play like normal defenders, then they would play bottom of sequence. So North playing the King denies having the Queen. That's my theory. Not that it helps me, I can't get over there anyway. It's a bit pointless. Unless uh, South puts the Queen on for me. No, I just have to win with the Ace. Pretty sure South has the Queen, but I couldn't promote the Nine. I needed to get over here. Although, I can't get back anyway. King, play spade. No. They never do what I want them to do. So I'm likely to lose to the jack of spades here. Yep. Oh. Actually, I could have finessed it. When I was over in dummy, I could have played the nine here. The jack happened to be there, but... How was I to know? Well, we made two. One heart making two. And the queen of clubs was where I thought. But I couldn't make any use of it. He wouldn't put it up for me. So, never mind. Right, on to board number 20. Three to go. Four, seven, nine, 13, 16 points and balanced. Minimum no trump rebid will be our plan. Just for now, we'll open our longer suit. North has only got four points. East, four, five, seven. Bid our longer suit. One, five, six, eight, eleven points and a pretty nice spade suit and heart suit. Oh, that's definitely worth a bid. One spade. West. No diamond fit. We're going to continue with our initial plan. We have spade cover, well and truly, so we can still do our one no trump rebid. No spade for still four points. Okay. Seven points. We, we must have a diamond fit now. Partners promised a spade. Spades and club cover. It's, we don't have enough points for three no trump. Could we make five diamonds? Partner's going to have six or seven losers, probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if they have six, then we're good for five diamonds. It's tricky. Very tricky. Even if diamonds are nice, they may not be any good in no trumps. I might not be able to get to them. I'm going to bid four diamonds. Invite to game and diamonds. I just want to know whether my partner's top or bottom of their range. Which is probably the difference between six or seven losers. Right, four, seven, nine, thirteen, four, seven, nine, thirteen, sixteen, eighteen. Oh, I've underbid here. What do I think I have? I thought it was. I didn't count sixteen the first time. Right, well, given that we've underbid, 
We definitely need to put five diamonds. Whoops. Got out of trouble there, I think. Although uh, Serena Trumps is probably making. Right. Diamonds. King of Diamonds is pretty nice. That solves any diamond issues. So we've got no diamond losers, no spade losers, bunch of heart losers. Probably three. We could lose to the ace, the king, and the jack of hearts. And no club losers. So, what can we do about these hearts? We need to keep the heart losers to two instead of three. Well, we've got an extra club and an extra spade that we can use for discards. So we could discard two hearts and then we will happily lose to the ace king of hearts and we will make our five diamonds so let us do that i am going to put the queen here seems a silly thing to do but i want obviously i'm going to win this trick with the ace and then i want to clear the diamonds out well if i play eight and ace i'm going to have to cross to the queen and now i've got to find a way back which is just annoying so, and my, my diamond suit is so good, apart from the missing king. I'm just going to plop the queen there and the ace, and now I can play over the eight and just keep drawing trumps out of my hand. So I started with eight, that's four, three, two, hearts are useless, one, Zero. So is there any miracle to be found in clubs? There's the queen. Is it too much to ask the ten and jack to call? I think so. There's still three out. I can cross a couple of times though here. I think. I oh know. He's got two more. Nothing we can do. And throw away another heart. And we would expect to still lose to the Ace King of Hearts. To make our five diamonds. Does three no trump make? Which is probably where we should be. Well, we've got certain tricks. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're three short. They gotta come from diamonds. Probably gonna run the diamond finesse to be fair. And lose to the singleton king. But then you've got four more diamond tricks, so yeah, three no trumps will make easily. I don't think they can get us in too much trouble in hearts. Uh, heart lead from this hand. Well, they could take three heart tricks straight up and then the king of diamonds. Yeah. So that would keep it to three. If he happens to play his king of hearts. Which, that seems unlikely. He's going to play a spade. Partner bid spades. If he happens to find the, the um, weird king of heart lead, then uh, and they can hold us to three. Otherwise, it's likely to make a bit more. All right. Twenty-one. 
North, 3, 4, 8, 11, 14, 16, 17 points. Singleton, so not balanced. Bid our longest suit. East, 4, 6, 8 points. No, flat. South, 3 points. Just got to pass. West, 12 points. And a massive club suit. Two clubs. Well, North is pretty big, right? Good enough to bid two diamonds, even though their partners are past hand. There's no point in breaking the barrier here when we know that our partner is so weak. The fact that we're bidding at all says we've got a decent hand because we know our partner is zero to five points. So just keep it below the barrier. Just give you're just giving your partner a couple of options. Uh, I got a club fit. Probably, yeah. Let our partner know about our club fit. South. It's quite a nice big diamond fit now, but it's only three points. Our partner's pretty big. Our partner's probably got five or six losers. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's still not great. It says we can maybe make three diamonds if our partner has five losers. If our partner has five losers. Hmm. No, leave it alone. Any interest in pushing on? I don't think so. North has said their piece. Three clubs. What have we got? Losers, we've got no clubs. It's an awesome club suit. We've got two heart losers, a spade loser and a diamond loser. One, two, three, four. Is there anything we can do? Doesn't look like it. Not unless we can set the hearts up. What do we know from the bidding? Who's got all the points? North. A good chance that North has the ace and king of hearts. That could be a worthwhile shot. Ace of diamonds. Draw some trumps. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm missing three. Two, one. Zero. Right, see if we can't make some headway in hearts. There's the king. Now I wouldn't carry on in diamonds. Good. Oh, he's not likely to now. Oh, yes. That was foolish. Now. Now. Now I get a rough and slough. I get to rough in one hand and throw out in the other. So I can rough with the five of clubs and throw out either a spade or a heart. I wonder. What was North's, what were the suits at North bid? Anyone remember? Uh, spades and diamonds, was it? Let's have a look. Spades and diamonds. So, the spades and diamonds, they may well be short in hearts. Maybe they started with double to ace king. So we might be able to rough this diamond, throw out a heart, and force out the other heart on a 
Ah, would have been cool if it worked though, wouldn't it? Seems he started with three hearts. Oh, we knew this. We knew that he started with one club. If we thought about it. If he started with one club, he must have started with three hearts. So we have to lose a spade. But that's fine. Claim the rest. Yeah, it's ace king nine of hearts, singleton club, five spades and four diamonds. So we made four clubs. Not bad. They in diamonds. Diamond a spade. A heart. And a club. They could have made three diamonds. By the looks. So hard to tell though. Alright. One hand to go, guys. And what would Mike do? Episode 2. Hope you've enjoyed it. Learned something new and useful. 14 points, 5 card major, so we can't open 1 no trump, we can open 1 heart, 2, 5, 6 points, pass, 3, 4, 8, 11, 13, 14, Ooh. very nice, just a 2 diamond bid for now, see where things go from there, 6 points flat for north, so East with 14 points can only really rebid their hearts just to show the extra card show the five card suit still a pass from South and West well West could probably have just gone three no trumps right from the outset really I mean what are they looking for Maybe a diamond fit, but they're going to have trouble showing six diamonds anyway, so. I suppose it's always useful to see if your partner has some massive hand with their rebid, but three no trumps is the bid here. Another game contract to finish us off. Remarkable just how many game contracts are there. Power of shape. All right. Three no trumps by West. So we're going to count our certain winners. We have nothing in spades. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, look at these diamonds. Six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine. Straight off the top, we can make three no trump. Now we just got to look for over tricks. Clearly clubs is our weakness. Uh, and it's a good thing they haven't led them, but we should be able to, unless there's some horrible split, make an extra two diamond tricks. It takes us to 11. We may also be able to make one extra heart trick, as long as they don't split 5-1. If we play on the diamonds first, they might also throw some hearts out. Um, We've got to deal to the spade lead first of all. Well, we're going to make the king of spades on that lead anyway. So that gives us another trick as well. So, queen, king of spades. We won't touch the spades again. We're going to start with the diamonds because they are more likely to behave and then they may discard some hearts for us. What do we start with? Eight, five, three left. So the diamonds have already behaved. Keep an eye on any hearts flying out the door. Throw out a couple of clubs. There's a heart. So there's five of those left. 
Now we move on to throwing out spades, four hearts left. can see with four hearts left we've actually got the top hearts. All we have to do is make sure that we play the jack first. Honours out of the shorthand. Me two. One, zero. Look at that. All the remaining hearts. Reno Trump's making seven. Well. I mean, we can always make six diamonds, five hearts in the ace of clubs, so we're always making six, even if they lead a club. Take their spade, ace of spades and switch to clubs, it'd be even better. Um, we can always take 12 tricks. Should we have bid six no trump? Well, I don't think so. Don't know how, how did the bidding go? Two two hearts he came back with, so it's not showing nothing special there. This guy had 14. 14 down here, 12 to 15 up here. It doesn't look anything close to 32 points. 14 and 12. 14 and 14. 28 points we had. No. Just played nicely. Sufficient cover and two lovely red suits. So that is it. We've played through our 22 boards. As I said, I hope you've enjoyed. Please, if you have any questions, pop them into the comments on the video and I'll be more than happy to start a discussion with you. Where you think I might have gone wrong or you're wondering why I've done something or what on earth I'm talking about or what is this losing trick count I keep going on about. I'd be more than happy to help. Next week, I'll do another one of these and we'll do a uh, declare a play and defend. So I'll probably, I'll sit north-south the whole night and I'll just, you know, declare and defend. And um, we can start to talk about the art of defense a bit more. Uh, I mean, defense is, is super important and there's so much to it, so much nuance. And once you get good at it, it becomes very enjoyable and then you don't mind going without cards all night because you um, enjoy defending so definitely good to talk about defense and we'll start doing that next week until then good luck at the bridge table and uh, let me know if you find these videos useful thanks a lot